start recording. We are going to jump in and I'm just going to hit one thing today, which is really kind of a cool feature. There's a, I don't know how much you guys have dug into the, uh, the email feature through the system, but there's a really cool thing that you can do, especially if you're farming an area um, and you've got those email addresses in there. Um, and that is to do a email, super easy, super simple. Uh, say a new listing comes up in your farm. Um, uh, so in my area, it's Laurel Crest and Laurel Creek. So I can put this together in just a few minutes and say new on the market in Laurel Creek, you know, and I can send that out to my farm or I can send it out to Oakley. It may not be my listing, but all I'm doing is saying it's a new, it's a new, new on the market. That's all I'm saying. So no um, permission needed. You, you don't, I mean, you, I mean, don't you, you forward, you forward listings to your clients all the time, right? Okay. Hi, Steve, how you doing? Good to see you. Shouldn't you be doing homework? Look, look over your right shoulder, Carla. Oh, I got one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me let me share my screen and show you guys. Um, I'm gonna go share screen, and I'm gonna do there. And so no, there. So you guys can see the. Um, you guys can see my my Weikert spot. Yes. No. Uh, yeah, I see your dashboard. Okay, that's yes. yes, good. Okay, so I want to do a mass uh, mailing. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm going to go and I'm going to go to under marketing autopilot, and I'm going to schedule or I'm going to do a mass email. Actually, let me let me let me, let me take that back. Let me go to here. And I'm going to do um, my apologies. There's most places of doing it. So I'm just going to do hit Laurel Cross Farm. I've saved a, a bookmark there. And then I'm going to do uh, 100 rows. So that'll be 100 people. And then I'm going to click here. That's going to, that's going to, you know, highlight all 100 people on that page. Now, Understand when you do this, uh, you do a mass email, you may have 300 contacts under a category, but it's only gonna do ever, however many rows you have up at a time that you've checked. So once I've got that, I wanna do my mass email. I'm going to click on mass email, and then I'm going to go to um, advanced editor, yes. And okay, that's fine. Um, so now I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit where it says template. I'm going to hit template and I'm going to scroll down. And these ones here. So if it's like this, it means it's a multiple things. If it's up like this, this is just a simple text. These are like um, pictures and graphics and words you can do in. So that's the difference on the, these are just, you know, these are just words. These are actually have graphics and um, spaces to put things in. So that's the difference on the left side here where you see this little sign here. So you understand what those are. So they've got all sorts of them. So let me go to there's house just listed, but I want to do new listing. Okay. So I'm going to click on new listing. And now it's just put, you can't see what's here, but you can see just listed. So puts everything in there. And so what I'm going to do is, oops, um, I'm going to go to MLS, MLS, and I could have done it a different way, but you can either do it, you can either grab a link from your website. Oh, let me do it that way. I'm just do that. Keep it in the system, Dave. I know. <laughs> so that's what I meant to do. So I'm going to go to my website. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start your home search here and say, I like, oh, I like, um, I like this one on Elm Street. So I'm going to open Elm up and you can, you can, you can search for any property you want to. Um, I'm going to go down here. Here's the MLS number on my website. I'm going to just 
highlight that, control C. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back over to here. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste in that MLS ID right there. Okay. Now, I hit preview, not much comes up. So what I wanna do is I wanna send a test. So this is gonna send an email to me. So let me open up my email. Hopefully it's there. Um, download the pictures. So here's the email that came out. So I can see what it's gonna look like. So it's just listed. So maybe I wanna say newly listed in Laurel Creek or Laurel Crest. Um, so I can change the title up here. Here's the information straight off of the MLS, okay? So you put that in there and um, here's the, some of the pictures that are there. There's my contact information, see, see my listings. They click on view listing, it takes them back to my website. And so what I've done is I've, I've, I can send out on any, um, any property on the MLS, I can send it out. So if I'm farming a neighborhood, I can put this out here and I can send that to um, anybody in my database. That's awesome. So what I recommend you doing is, see, because I'm doing the preview here, uh, mobile or desktop and mobile. So that's what, it's not gonna give you the preview well here. So I always do a send a test look at it. So um, let me close the preview. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna say, um, new to Laurel Crest. And now I'm gonna do a send test. I wanna see what that looks like, make sure it shows nice. Oops, go to my email. And hasn't quite arrived yet. Sorry, it's taking a couple seconds. There it goes. So uh, download pictures and new Laurel Crest. So I can I and I can change I can change things down in here. So maybe you, you want to have less verbiage, maybe you want to put in um, Hey, you know, if you'd love to, if you, if you're, if you're thinking of selling in Laurel Crest, I would love to help you, you know, whatever you want to do, you can put some of that. Uh, well, actually you can't change that. You can change, uh, you can add in, you can add in a spot. Uh, let me go back to there. So you can't change the verbiage in there cause it's coming straight from the MLS. Um, you can put, you can change the listing address. Um, what you can do is if you wanted to, you could add in, click on content and I could add right there and I can put that in there. Now I've added contact um, and I can do, um, I can do a merge tag, their first name. Uh, if you or your neighbors are considering um, selling. I have um, people who are looking in this wonderful community. Please, kind. So I can put our on it. So I can put that in there. Add that information in, and I've added a new text box in there. That I can put any place in there. Dave, so, before you get out of that, can I ask you something? Yep. Uh, for the mass email, um, you know how you can do that merge tag for everyone's name? Right. Is that all you have? Is that all you did was hit merge tag? Yep. Clicked on merge tag. And then I can do first name, last name, their full name. I okay. can put a variety of things in there. Um, okay. So the merge tags are, are kind of cool because it'll take their name and put that right into there. Okay. And then, Dave, one more thing. Um, um, it's not going to show when you do a mass email because I do them all the time. It doesn't show everybody else who else is on the email, right? No, nope, nope. Okay, just just making sure. Yeah, no, the system sends it out as as uh, individual people, and so they don't they don't see they don't know how many went out to. They just see it's to them. 
Um, let me go back to the email here. So here's a nice thing. So let me, I'm gonna close out my website and then we go back to this list. So now somebody gets the email and they go through and they hit view listing and boom, where does it take them? It takes them back onto my site. They gotta you know, put email or information in there. And so if they do that, if they put information in there, then you've got their email address. So, or they can hit Facebook. It, it pulls their information that puts in your database. You know, they opened the email, you know, they looked at it, they know, you know, they logged in. And again, they only have to log in one time to your website. Uh, Cause once they log in, after they've logged in, where it says sign in, it'll now, every time they log onto your site, it'll have their name right there. What if they're already in your um, CRM? Do they bypass this? If they're, if they've, if they've logged onto your website previously, um, no, because these are all coming from my CRM. They have to right. log. So they still have to sign in. They don't just I think, have access. I think an initial time they have to, uh, they may not have to, but I think an initial time they're going to have to log in and, but only one time once they've done that, then any other searches, they don't have to log in because they're already, it recognizes them, their computer and all that. Okay. Okay. So it's a, it's a really cool thing. And again, there are, there's all sorts of templates down here. You can put a newsletter together, um, open house announcer. So maybe you just want to open a, announce an open house. Um, and then I'll use that same uh, email ad or uh, MLS login ID. So here's open an uh, open house. I can change the times. I can change all this. So let me send a test. So you see what that looks like. So there's some really cool templates that you can send out to your whole database. I mean, every time you get a listing, your own listing, I would do to your whole database. Why? Because you never, you never know. know. You never know. And it also shows that, it also shows that you're, you've got you're stuff working. going, you're doing stuff. So here's the open, you're open to invite to the house. And so there's, again, it took the picture off there. Here's that. So, it just popped all the information in there. Again, you got to change the, when you do the open house, you got to change the date and the location because it doesn't, it doesn't grab that, but it grabs the picture and puts it in there. So you can announce your open houses this way, or you want to do a virtual open house. You can announce a virtual open house this way too. You can do mad, send out to all your whole database and the information on how to join the, the zoom open house or the, the Facebook live open house. Um, so, in just a couple of quick clicks, you can have a very quality uh, email sent out with a house. Um, I mean, it's all, it's under the advanced editor, not the basic editor, the advanced editor. Um, here's recruiting, here's single property. Um, so again, these ones are just, they're just words, uh, no graphics really to speak of. Uh, the ones with little box things, that means there's multiple parts to it. Um, welcome to Weikert is, you know, that's, you know, for more of a, I should look at that one for my, maybe for, uh, um, uh, here's, you know, happy holidays. So here's, and you can see what the graphic is. So here's one for Christmas or, you know, whatever. And you can just change out what it says here. Um, and it'll send out to everybody. So these templates under the advanced editor are really, really cool. You know, uh, Halloween, you know, so home for sale. That's kind of a cute, you know. So there's, there's a ton of templates in there and especially the, the, the just listed, the open house ones in a, in a few moments, you can put together a quality thing. Here's a networking event. So maybe you're gonna do an event, you wanna invite people to it. Uh, you can adjust all of this. So there's a lot under this uh, advanced editor. The other thing that you can do is if you want to do it, so you want to put something together. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do, is I'm going to start putting together a quarterly newsletter that I send out. Well, they take time to build. Um, so what I can do is I can do it under the mass um, email. I can, um, uh, I can put that all together, start putting that together and I can just, I can work on it for a little bit, 
go in, edit it, and then come back and later on and a few days later and add something else in. So I can go on and edit and I've, so I've seen me, I've scheduled it up for September. Well, I've got till September to finish my newsletter. I can be working on it as I go, as I get opportunity. And then I can, it, then the mass emails out. Just make sure you finish the newsletter before you, it goes to the mass email or, or change the, the date on it. So the, the email editor in here is really cool. It takes a little bit of work to do that, to get it through, but it has some really cool stuff. So maybe you want to do, um, maybe I don't want a template at all. Um, Yeah. So I don't want a template, um, clear. Okay, so um, maybe I want to do a core video. It may not let me do this because I've got you guys going, yeah, it's not gonna let me do it. Uh, okay, I can drag it under there. So you wanna do a video, drag that there. Oops, didn't, didn't place it, there we go. Uh, hit select video, it'll take you to a place. You make the video, you select that video, and you actually I click select video. Um, these are ones that I've done. If you don't have a video, you hit add video, and um, you can do a video up real quick, and then it'll then you select that one and put it into the. So <clears throat> the email thing, the mass email thing, has some really cool capabilities in it but i thought the one that was really effective and really helpful is to be sending out to your um your database um uh, a, a just listed or a newly listed or open house that you're doing um or a open house zoom or a facebook live you can do an invitation that way um you can send that out um simply easily quickly and it's quality and i mean you saw i mean you know, if we, if we, so I'm going to close, so I'm going to go. So I'm in my CRM. I've selected my people. I'm going to click mass email. Um, I'm going to scroll down to, um, new listing. I'm going to put that MLS ID in there. That I've already done. And I may want to say uh, Laurel Crest. Oops, what I do? Preview. Okay, it's still there. Um, Take that out. So, Dave, I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I probably didn't do it exactly correct, but what I did was I used all the property boost people and I did the mass email for them when I did um, an open house and let them know that they'd have to come in two at a time and that I wouldn't have signs out. And um, I only got one person show up, but it was cool because then I knew, okay, at least it worked, right? Right, yep. My, pro my problem was the last one was I, I forgot to click on um, so here's what always throws me off where it says basic editor. That means you're on the advanced editor. So this is just a switch back. So I've, I forgot. That's why it didn't, uh, uh, so oral crest homes, not hose homes and oops. So I've got that in there and then I can hit preview. So it doesn't show me very much, but if I send the test, so in a few moments, I've, I've put together a whole email that's super simple and easy to do. Um, if you want to share like an interesting article, would that be that um, dynamic content button? Where, are you able to do that? Yes, let me. <laughs> so you want to share an article? Maybe, yeah. Okay, so you, you could do it either, either via newsletter, you could do it... Um, yeah, so let me let me uh, clear this, take this out. Um, content. Um, 
So you want to put, uh, let's see what this gives us here. Oh, this is just like schedule showing type of thing. Let me oh. review. Yeah, so that's, that's for them to click and respond to that. Um, maybe it's like copy and paste a text. Maybe you gotta highlight your whole article, maybe. Yeah, I think you could do it that way is you do text and then you copy and paste your article in there. Uh -huh. But I would probably, what I would probably do is I would probably do, um, Um, I would probably do, that's where to go, LM newsletter. Probably do, do newsletter and then I would just, um, so you could, you could, you could put your article in here All and right. then you, you could take some of these other ones out. So like, like I said, the, the, the newsletter is pretty extensive. There's a lot you can put into there. You don't have to use all of this uh what you can do is you can you can if i want to eliminate um i want to take some of it out i can just delete it and take and make it smaller uh so here's the preview so there's on desktop so you know if you want to get rid of some of this you can and uh if you wanted and here's what it looks like on mobile um so you, you can change and adjust that as go. I would probably use the newsletter one and just um, uh, take some of the take some of the areas out. Okay. So oops, let me do this again. Oops. Come on. Oh, here we go. Boom. So I just took that. No, I take this out. I take this whole section out. Okay. So new listing feature. Delete. So the new listing features. You know. So I can just. I can take just take stuff out of there that I want to. So I can make it short. I can keep it long, and I can add articles in. Um, but the nice thing is that if you wanted to do a quarterly newsletter, you know, I can do this, I can do the, the schedule, the uh, mass email, and then I can, um, are we on? oh, sorry, Linda's trying to join us. Um, so I, I can, I can add that in quickly. You know, I, so I, you can schedule the mass email, you can keep coming back to this and working on it so that by the time you're ready to, you know, roll in September every, every three months, then it's already done. So that's a really kind of a cool feature for um, doing mass emails and doing them quickly. Um, so um, they all clear all that, so it takes it out of there. So pretty straightforward. Yes, no, maybe? Yes, okay. awesome. So Linda, let me, you, are you there, Linda? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so did you, so what, what I'm show, I'll show real quickly is how to, how to send out a, a, a new listing or a open house announcement really quickly, mass email. So I've, I've highlighted my people I wanna send it to out of my database. I'm gonna hit mass email. Um, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come to new listing. And there's an open house one also. It's going to pop up this MLS ID. Um, I've already uh, saved an MLS number. I popped the MLS number in there. Um, when you do the preview, you don't get much, but I'll show you. I've already sent it. Uh, what I would do is say hit send a test, and the test email. Uh, it looks like so. Here's the just listed one, and I changed this new to Laurel Crest. And this is the email that comes out. They click on this, it takes them to your website. Um, same thing, see my listings, take your website and they've got to log in. So in a couple moments, you can send out, if you've got an open house you're gonna do, you can send an invitation to that. If you have a new listing, you can put it out there or you just wanna highlight a house in a community 
uh, in the area. And hey, you, know, you can add in a text box down here. And to see homes like this or any other ones, please give me a phone call. Um, so in, in just literally in a couple of seconds, you can put out a, um, an email to, um, that, that is high quality and just pulls information straight from the MLS. And that's under um, the advanced head. Okay, so I'll send this video out in a few moments and then I will also send out instructions to walk you through so you can do that. But I would encourage you, man, do, do, do this once a week. Send this out to people, find an interesting home. If you don't have a listing that's, that's up, find an interesting home, send it out and say home of the week. You know, just title it and rather, rather than just listen, say home of the week. And just send that out and give a little, put a text box down below is, you know, we, we love unique properties and we love real estate. If you'd love to you know, buy or sell, please contact us. Are we allowed to send out um, homes that were, that aren't with our brokerage or do we have to contact them, the, the listing agent first to find out? Don't, don't you do that? Out. Don't you do that right now? What, contact the listing agent? No, don't, don't you send out listings all the time to your clients? Oh yeah, when there's when there's new stuff that hits the market, yeah. It's called a drip. Okay. You you're you're not saying it's yours, you're you're just saying it's listed. Or new to the market or whatever you want to do it, or home of the week. If somebody you just did a home of the week, and you title that and you found a unique property every week and you sent it out with and put add a text dot box down below of, you know, hey, you know, Here's the here's the great home that I saw this week. If you if you're interested in looking at homes like this, or maybe you need to make a move, please contact me. So we do it all okay. the time. Okay, so it's not so it's not any different than when we're putting our buyers on a drip or something like that. Nope, nope. You're just sending out your database. Um, and the great the great thing is I used it for my property boost people. So you know you get the property boost people and you don't know what to do with them. That's a great way. Yep. to contact them yep um, so it's it's and again it literally it takes about two minutes to to do that i mean go to your go to your website you know home bay area you know um put a search in or just you know click here shut your search here <coughs> And you know, maybe I like Durness. That's a really kind of cool one. So I'm gonna click on there. Oh, it's it thinks I'm coming in as a yeah, but anyway, down below down here is the MLS number. You grab the MLS number, pop it in, pop it into this MLS ID after you've clicked new listing. So Linda, also the difference is these here are just pretty much straight text. These are multiple um, things that you know there are graphics and all that that go into the your, your text. That's the difference on those is, and again, I'm under advanced editor, not basic editor. So if I click on basic editor, it'll take me back to basic editor. If I click on advanced editor, it takes me to this here. So maybe, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. So I want to do a Thanksgiving one. And there it goes. So let me hit preview. Here's what it looks like on computer. There's what it looks like on the desktop or on a, on a phone. Um, and again, you can edit these. So under the advanced editor for the, the mass email is there's a lot of really cool things that you can do. But the, the really coolest one, I would challenge you once a week, send out, you know, home of the week or something to your database, your whole database. See what people say. It's a good way of, of interacting. My guess is if you've got, you know, 300 people in your database, you'll probably hear back from, you know, 10, 10 of them or so. Just responding back to it. Hey, that's kind of a cool house. Um, I have a question. Yep. For this mass email, does that only work for a single property or you know, how, like for other things we do a squeeze page, like here's a list of the price reductions, right? Is there, um, can we somehow do that? Or is this just for single properties? What I showed you is for single properties, but I will do some digging around and see if there's a way to do kind of a listing and how that would look. Okay. So that's a great question. Good, 
Yeah, good. Like, like if you just want to advertise homes with pools or newly reduced um, prices or, you know, whatever. If there is a way to kind of bundle some of them together. Okay. Kind of like when we set our buyers up on a drip and more than one property is sent to them, they can kind Correct. of scroll through real quick. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that one for the just listed or the open house or single properties. Uh, but you can also, there is a way to set up um, where you where you send out to your or you send them out a link through your website of new homes um or or, or open houses so anytime they click on that link um it'll take them to the, the open houses for that week yes okay so maybe we just email yeah mass email a link yes that that may be the way to do it and just tell them hey you know save this link and you want to see what the open houses are this week click on there Okay. Because it'll, it'll only bring up the ones that are open houses that are current, that are on there. Okay. Thank you. So the last thing I want to show you is, um, take this out, clear the filters. Um, sorry, it's my dad. I'm going to ignore him. Um, I'm going to go to dashboard actually. So again, we talked about this before, but I think it's worth looking at. So you want to see, um, let me go to mine. So I can go in here, I can see who's done property views. I can see questions. I can see showing requests. I can see who's looked at valuations, uh, what new leads I have, new texts I have, new emails. It'll put most current to so property views. So I can go on here, see who's been looking at properties. Okay. So Christina has been looking down in Gilroy. Hugo has been looking, you know, she opened on her phone. He opened on the phone. Robert opened up on his computer. Uh, Ashley opened up on twice on her phone and that's in my neighborhood. So, um, so you can see what people are looking at. You can see who's doing it, how, which ones they're looking at, how many times they've done that. Um, now I, can, I can click on here and see where the questions. Um, so these are the people that have asked questions and sent in to me. Showing requests. I don't think I've got any in there. Uh, valuations. So um, I've only sent one, one specific valuation out, and that was a test one. Uh, new leads. So you want to see who your new leads are? Nobody. Um, new texts. Um, so here's texts that have been going back and forth with uh, agents or between me and other people. Um, hot leads. Hot leads is a good one to look at, okay? These are the people that are being active on your website, either email or uh, looking at properties. So these are kind of your hottest ones. These are ones that you should be checking to see if there's something you need to be dealing with a contact for them. So this is on the dashboard under, um, um, you know, it, it, uh, it defaults automatically all activity, but you can get specific and look at more specific information there as well. The property views and the hot leads one are the two that you should be clicking on those once a day and kind of seeing what's going on there. Okay. So short, sweet, but I wanted to show you those you know, the dashboard thing and then the mass emails. Um, again, if you want help with the uh, uh, scheduling emails or how to use the, the uh, advanced editor, um, let me know and I can do more specific training with you and show you how to do that. Um, it does take a little bit of playing with, but the very simple thing is the um, just listed or the open house announcer. Um, you can do that in a matter of moments. So every new listing you get, man, I would just blast your whole database with, um, with uh, that uh, that uh, new listing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank and you. Let's see. And Thank stop you. Right there and stop recording. So I will say.